through the various HEAR Project and Institute for Humanist Studies initiatives, we hope to honor the charge offered by famed E.O. Wilson. We, he writes, are obligated by the deepest drives of the human spirit to make ourselves more than animated dust. Those of us working with these two organizations see the conversation this evening as a prime opportunity for such thoughtful reflection and effort. Don't ever be lazy enough, defeatist enough, cowardly enough to say, I don't understand this, so it must be supernatural. It must be a miracle. What a pathetic way to respond to a new finding. Say instead that it's a puzzle, it's strange, it's a challenge that we should rise to. Whether we rise to the challenge by questioning the truth of the observation or by expanding our science in new and exciting directions, the proper and brave response to any such challenge is to tackle it head on. My favorite point of his was definitely just the fact that there's so much magic in everyday events and that magic doesn't have to be derived from you know, things like Harry Potter or things like the Bible. It can be derived from the magic of the stars in the sky or the magic of how we came to be here, not through um, spontaneous creation, but through a slow process of evolution and how evolution itself is a form of magic. It gives a lot of importance to the things that are going on in the labs around Rice, especially if you're involved in lab research. It can be very easy to get lost in the minutia of what you're doing and saying, all right, I'm pipetting this into that, and all day I pipette this into that. And so it really helps to remember that, no, I'm actually, I'm doing something good, and I could be working on something that could benefit mankind.